Ladies and gentlemen, James of Our Lives Yesterday! Give me a hell yeah! Oh. We can't really see you though, so you gotta angle it up a little more. <laughs> Perfect, but now you're full screen. Oh, we're, we're doing it live. Sorry, boys. No, oh, it's all good. No worries. We've seen it all <laughs> on this show. Uh, James, thank you so much for joining, dude. Uh, for those that may not know you, sir, can you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Plug and promote anything and everything. Uh, play bass in our lives yesterday. We're at Topeka, Kansas. Um, man, there's I don't know what all to talk about here. We're uh, kind of a small time band, just having a good time. Appreciate the opportunity to have us on, man. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, let's start with uh, all the social media links. Where can where can people go like right now and hit the follow, the sub button, all that stuff? Uh, right now, we're terrible on social media because we're a bunch of old dudes. Uh, Facebook's what we really use. Spotify's where we really need everybody who wants to take a listen. But it's at, at Our Lives Yesterday with nothing else. That's the Facebook.com slash Our Lives Yesterday. Yes, yes. Just Our Lives Yesterday. There it is. Ding, ding, ding. Hell yeah. James, where where in the world are you right now? You're you're in Topeka, right? Yes, I'm in Topeka. Just showing in the band room my place. Hell yeah. I love it, dude. Thanks for hanging, man. Uh, with, how long has the band been together for? Man, I think we're, we're going on six, seven years, somewhere there. Six years. It's still, it's still the same lineup it's always been, or has there any, been like any changes or anything? Um, we definitely had some changes. I remember when we first started, we were going to be the band with no drama. And I think in the last three years, we've, we've gone through four members, just kind of keeping it together. You, you referred to yourself as a bunch of old dudes. Have you guys been in previous bands before this? Uh, yeah, I think, I think we've all like, let's see, I'll start like my guitar player is 40. He would played in a pop punk scene back in Florida for a lot of years. Uh, Drummer played in some rock bands for probably a decade, and then we just kind of, I think really we kind of all kind of stopped, got together, and went, man, it's boring not playing music. Let's just keep going and start something new. So, the so like, most of that lineup transitioned over into our lives? Yes, yeah. There's three of us are original of the original four, and we've kind of, we toyed around with having a different full-time vocalist, and we brought another guitar player in, and we swapped him out for another guy. Um, all, all good friends, by the way, just kind of, didn't quite work out with the sound. We pushed a little different direction, but. Awesome. Now I spy with my little eye some cracking next to you, sir. Would you like Ooh. to do a shot Ooh. while we jam some shady nasty? Absolutely. Let's do a shot. We're hanging oh. out with our lives yesterday. This is how you started off right here. You gotta, you gotta start the party off right. So uh, if you guys are watching and you enjoy the song we're about to play, please support them. They're supporters of ours. They're really kick-ass dudes. James is frequently uh, just in chat and just a cool guy. This is Shady Nasty, but hit that follow button and support him, man. For real. <laughs> Cheers, James. James, tell me the process of how you guys write your music. How how does a, a traditional Our Lives song start from scratch? Do you do you do you approach the band with like, hey, I got this idea, or how do, how does it start? 
Um, if somebody brings a riff up, man, um, we're that's something like I said, we're a bunch of old dudes. We're not very good at the uh, <laughs> a lot of bands now. You know, local are you write stuff on the computer, send it to the homies, build on it. We're all in a room together writing the whole thing. So it's a, the, the classic writing style. Of just we're in yeah, practice yeah. session, I got an idea, and then you roll off of that and go to the next thing, and then we're just building its layers. By the end of the four or five hours, we got a new song. Exactly, yeah. You know, we're uh, pretty guilty of sitting on stuff for a while, so there's sometimes we'll write a song, and by two, three months later, we're like, yeah, let's go record it. It's completely different. God, it's, I love that. Uh, today, my, my co-host is JB, JB Music 661 and everything. We're going by, he's going by President JB today. JB, what question do you have for James? <laughs> James, pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, my question for you is, has the bass been your native instrument, or is this just the kind of like the new project? This is what you've been focusing on? Uh, ba bass has always been the thing for me. Um, I joined a band, my first band, when I was like 14. The bass player, you know, the friend group band left, and somebody put it in front of me and said, we got a show in a month, figure it out. And I have just rolled with that. Really? Dang, that's crazy. So you just picked it up and then in a month you knew enough riffs and chords to be able to kind of like fake it through the show or you felt confident when that month appeared? Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> it was it was a train wreck, but somehow we got labeled as a grindcore band. And from that show, we just kept going for a little while. That's cool. Hell yeah. Do you have any, do you have any crazy hobbies outside of music? Uh, mostly gaming. Um, yeah, really just games and music, man. That's what I spend a lot of my time doing. Going what to it, shows. What, what's, out. what's your obsession gaming wise right now? Oh man. Apex is just taking way too much time right now. Yeah. Apex is a pretty damn good one. I'm a COD mobile guy. I play almost every single day. In fact, I play every day. Oh yeah. But it has to be the mobile version, I, uh, the, specifically the mobile version. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Oh, I missed what you said. I uh, I did Elden Ring for a little while. That sucked me in for I don't know how many hours, hundreds. I've heard that the the Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy game is is pretty damn cool and has like a pinch of like an Elden Ring vibe because you can go anywhere, do anything. Um, we'll see. I might have to check that one out. Uh, if if our lives was ever to to feature like a big name for for promotional reasons, like let's get the name out here, and it, because there's an attachment of a big artist, who would you who would you have in mind to uh, to jump on the track? Man, that's that's a hard one. Um, man, let's see. Man, you really put me on the spot with this one. I think I'd love to do like something kind of local. And I know like the Brownings from KC, um, a couple of dudes from the Norma Jean around here. I'd love to get something like that going. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Brownings heavy, and then Norma Jean is just legends. That'd be that'd be fun for sure. Uh, were you able to bring hot sauce, sir, so we can do some trivia? Oh, I brought options. So you just tell me how hot Excellent. to go. Excellent. Hell yeah. Well, that that. I got a couple options too, so I see you. Let me see what you got though. Show me if you can. All right. We're starting here with the medium. I don't know. I picked this up at Dunes. It looked comfortable for me, so I hope we go with that one. Um, the Nando's hot. Or because I don't know who wants me to hurt today, the double X hot. I don't know, man. I'm not really a big hot sauce guy. Please don't hurt me. Double X hot sounds sounds a little spicy for sure. To do the trivia though, I need to know what movie or TV show you have seen the most. In my opinion, it's easier to pick a movie, but it's your call. It, what movie or TV show have you seen more than anything? Where if I ask you trivia on it, you will not get stumped. Uh, I'm gonna say Lord of the Rings. Any particular movie of the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Uh, let's go. Let's go Two Towers. Two towers heard. JB, hop in with another question and give me a second on Lord of the Rings trivia. Yeah, um, I don't want to jump the gun, but what state, if you had the opportunity to, would be a target state for you guys to tour at? Man, every band that's come through we've played with says we have to go north. New York would be, you know, that that's the route we got to go. So that would probably be where we'd want to go check out. Right on. 
North New York. Do you have like a uh, like if you were to take a couple of of locals with you to to New York? Is there some homie bands that you can plug real quick? Uh, definitely the homies and bleed the victim. Super underrated. I hope they go so goddamn far. Um, some of my favorite death metal is from around here. Uh, obviously the or- origin from Topeka. Um, and let's see. Um, oh man, I don't think it still is together. Uh, Soiled Dubs, hundred percent. That is my favorite Topeka band of all time. Super underrated. If you guys haven't played them. Yachty yeah, yeah, sometimes they're fantastic. Dude, throw them in the queue uh, later today. We'll jam them. Or tomorrow, whenever. Oh, yeah. uh, but we definitely want to want to hear their music for sure. Is uh, <clears throat> Well, in fact, let's just jump into the trivia. I'm ready. I got it ready. I think I'm going to get them. I think I'm going to get them. In Lord of the Rings, the two towers. What are the names of the two children who flee on, on horseback from the wild men and ride to Edoras to the warning of the fall of the Westfold. Yeah. I got you. I'm just going to say we should, we should ask the chat what sauce I should take because I'm not going to get that. There's no way. Chat's going to pick the hottest one. Let's start with let's start with the medium one, the one in the middle, just regular hot. <laughs> Ethan, Ethan and Frida. And they're reunited with their mother at Helm's Deep is the answer. He's going to do some hot sauce. We're going to check out Abandonment right now. Enjoy the hot sauce, my friend. I'll jump in. I'll do some Hawaiian lava flow. James, talk to me. How are you feeling? You know, I want to say not too bad, but it's, it's coming. It's still going. It's still creeping up, yeah. <laughs> I'll go a little bit of an easier one on the second question. So James, let's say all of a sudden label comes along and everyone in the band gets a $10 million signing bonus individually. So you're, you're, you're really rich. There's enough money to take care of your family for a while, get all the gear you could ever want. But after all that's taken care of, what is a cool, just fun toy you would buy for yourself? Cool, fun toy right off the bat. I'd probably go gaming PC, build something I'd really enjoy. You know, always been a console gamer, but I've always wanted to kind of get into that. It's just a little more on the expensive side. I think I'd jump into that right off the bat. If I could, I'd recommend digitalstorm.com as they allow payment plans, Ooh. payment plans on even three or $4,000 PCs. If, if 200 bucks a month, or let's say a $1,500 PC, 70, 80 bucks a month, digitalstorm.com. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hell yeah. After all. What what can we expect from our lives yesterday throughout 2023? What can we look forward to? Our goal in 2023 is to write and release more music, you know, at least one or two more times. We're really on the fence on doing another a, a full-length album. Um, so the goal is to get three or four songs together, go record, put them out, and then do it again by the end of the year. Do you guys DIY all the demos and then go somewhere else, or do you... What's your process for once the writing's done and, and you do like a demo version? How do we? How does the final version get to our ears? What's your process for that? Um, we've got a guy oh, here in town. Uh, he, he goes by Rofo Studio, Rock On or F Off. Um, I I use, usually use just something, a cell phone, just something simple, one mic in the room. I send that to him so he can build click tracks, and then we go spend a weekend with him and hammer everything out. And he is one of the best dudes I've ever worked with. Uh, take anything and make it sound good. So, hell yeah, that's awesome. I mean, what, the product sounds great. So, 
I would just keep going to him. It sounds pretty damn good to me. Uh, JB, what's an, what's a, another question you have for James? My question is, um, listening to music, do you guys have a two different vocalists, or does your vocalist scream and do the clean at the same time? Dang, I was going to ask that. Uh, the- that's actually something I was kind of talking about earlier. When our original vocalist left, we replaced him with another full-time vocalist, and we just had a hard time kind of writing that way. So we brought in another, got rid of him, uh, brought in another guitar player, and then I ended up doing all of the screams, and the guitar player, has, and the original guitar player, ended up doing all of the cleans, and we just rolled with that sense. Yeah, I like right the on. back. I like the back and forth right there with the with the cleans and that and abandonment was very different than shady nasty it had like kind of like that aggressive punk ish feel to it but it was like a different style so it's very like eclectic mix you're gonna get uh, if you listen to the album I, it's pretty damn cool dude but i think i'm gonna make you drink some more hot sauce here we go <laughs> in the lord of the rings the two towers who or what was brego Say it one more time. Yeah. Do you know who Brego was in the film? My God, this is my favorite movie, and I don't know anything about it. We got to one more time. <laughs> Brego was Aragorn's horse in the film. Had you gotten it correct, we would have spun this wheel. My friend, enjoy the hottest hot sauce you have, if that's okay. I will do the hottest one as well. Which today is cowboy bacon, but it's literally like the third or fourth hottest one I have out of like 16. It burns the lips, I promise. From Argentina. God. You have to clean it up with some wasabi. I know. It's going to suck. I have to follow it up with a bunch of wasabi straight on my tongue. Ugh. I'm not looking forward Mayor to that. Chrysler. You got to do what you got to do sometimes. That's what the wheel says, so that's what we got to do. Ugh. Honestly, wasabi sounds like a good palate cleanser right now. That one did it. Is it? Is it really, really hot? It was pretty warm. A little warm. <laughs> the double X is spicy confirmed. Hell yeah. Let's see. Uh, JB, shoot off one more. I'm going to do this with Sabi. Right on. Um, if you had if you had the choice of getting any vehicle right now, what would you buy? Oh, man. Um, 94 Supra. Hey. Is it the Fast and Furious Supra? Well, maybe a little less flashy, but, you know, anything with two JZ, I'll be happy with. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the one from the first because they didn't they <sighs> I'm bad. It's, it's bad didn't they um, <laughs> didn't they cancel like the Supers ended I think at oh no maybe it was like 2000 I forget but I think the Supers ended for a while so I'm pretty sure <laughs> this is neither here or there but yeah badass car for sure let's see uh, have you ever attempted any other instrument or just bass is the one where someone's like, you got to play this, get on stage with us. And then you just kind of roll with that. Like, I feel like people that can play bass dabble in a little guitar as well. Like, do you ever just pick up an electric and, and, or an acoustic, uh, regular guitar, non-bass and is just play a little bit or strictly bass? You know, it's funny you mentioned that I, uh, Kind of working on drums with another band around here locally. Um, I've done vocals here and there, obviously. As far as bands go, guitar is the one instrument I just cannot do. Coming from bass, it's it's too small for me, and I trip all over myself, and I just struggle with it. Interesting. I don't think I've heard that too often from people that play bass that transitioning to guitar. But it is cool that that you dabble also in drums and uh, and a little vocals here and there. What DAW do you guys use? Uh, I know you said you do like a one one mic thing uh regarding the mm-hmm. the demos but what what DOS system do you guys use i use reaper um i think our guy used to use reaper he got some equipment that didn't really work well with it so i think he's using um i want to say it's cubase but i could be wrong for sure we're familiar with cubase um james we got time for a couple more i want to know 
Is there is there any piece of advice a band has ever given you? Like maybe you guys opened up for a bigger band and they were like, man, if I could just tell you guys this, it'll do wonders for your career. Is there any like advice that you can share for maybe someone that's watching this also in a band that uh, maybe it's a mistake you guys made a couple years back and you don't want anybody to make this mistake or just some form of advice? I got, you know, I'll give you two pieces of advice. One that I got, um, I can't even remember what band told us this. It was, don't fake it till you make it, but take what you have and make it look like the coolest thing in the world. But just doing what you're doing, make sure you people know you love it and you're having a great time. You're there to entertain and, you know, show them that you are too. But um, the piece of advice I would give is know what you want. I think that... Um, my earlier 20s, I think that I really wanted to kind of chase the dream. And now I'm happy. I know that, I, you know, working a job, that's fine. This is kind of the playing the weekend warrior thing, just getting the music out there to people that want to hear it. And that's uh, that's kind of the dream now, if that makes sense. Totally makes sense. Is there is there a rough timetable on, on when the new music might be coming out later this year? I imagine maybe summer, uh, late summer, fall-ish. I'm hoping summer. I'm hoping we'll have a little bit more out then, and then uh, probably three or four songs midsummer. Hell yeah, cool. JB, what would be a, a final question you have for James? Yeah, do you guys have any shows um, coming up, or are you guys strictly just working on material? Um, we've got some stuff at the Black Chamber DIY, DIY venue April 22nd here in Topeka. Um, and then... I don't know that we've got anything booked after that. We um, will probably be, we're kind of keeping it low key. Like you said, working on material right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, James, we look forward to that material. Thank you for, for giving us a quick, quick 20 minutes, sir. I learned yesterday is awesome. Between the two songs, we just jammed back to back right here. Very, very different, which tells me there's a lot of like an eclectic mix. Like I said earlier on, on the album in particular, but please, if it's okay with you, maybe in seven or eight months, when the album is out and finished, we can touch base with you one more time. Hit that cracking one more, okay. one more time, and uh, and party a little bit. But dude, this is awesome. I appreciate you. If you guys are watching and you enjoyed these songs you heard, please go support our lives yesterday. They're out of Topeka, Kansas. Thank you, James. Cheers, sir, and have yourself a fantastic day. This was fun. Oh yeah, man. Thanks for having me on. It is our pleasure. Anytime. Ow. Saki for me. Ladies and gentlemen, James Adams of our live. Yes, I yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day, sir. <laughs>